What's going on guys? Welcome to Purgatory and today Mahi Mahi Resort got a rework and we're here to walk through the map. So far I've only played the Turf War and Splat Zones versions. I toured them just to, just to kind of see if the map change was there. All right so hopping right in at the very like literally right at the start you can see that the spawn was expanded. Here's the the new layout that we have now. You can see the spawn was expanded. Now you can just be up here the whole time. It's kind of this ramp here has been there. This area was widened you can see. It was even extended out just a little bit because you can see that sponge is no longer lined up with the wall. But that sponge is still there. You can jump down. And there's a grate now that will let you just cross. You don't have to jump across. But now, the best part about this is going this way. You can actually swing all the way around now. You don't have to be trapped by water. And you can... It's pretty easy to swim and get on this side. This pillar is here now. Um, I think they just made it an easier way to get to the center area, which this was also expanded. Now, I think these were extended out. Like, this feels like it was stretched out a little bit because now they have the grate that you have to land on. Unless I'm... Unless I'm crazy. This feels wider. But again, it's all the same on the other side, but we will go ahead and see. So at first I thought there was going to be a flank route that goes into their spawn. And so here's the water dropping. This ramp is pretty different. There's a little jump up over here now. I believe that triangle... I don't know if it was a triangle before. But that looks like to be sloped out. I'm pretty sure that box is the same. All these boxes really are about the same. But this terrain entirely was expanded out. This feels far more open now. Even comes out all this way. And just right here, it seems you can actually get pretty good into their defense now you can actually get right under them and spray into their spawn some good stuff here i don't know if this cube has been here before but this is now able to go up this way and something that you notice is when the water rises or when the water lowers instead of that platform being there it actually lowers and now this whole area is open the stage changes so far seem to be good. I've, only, again, only played the spot zones. It looks like they actually made this wall right here inkable now that I think about it. You can get up and go right in this way. And you can go into their spawn. So all the routes, they gave you more options. And overall, I think this overhaul might be a W. I absolutely think so. And a little bit of a trick here is this feels like you can't really make it. You kind of go right at the lip, but if you jump get in the grate and then you let go of the squid form you're able to get on this platform so i don't know if that was intentional or not but yeah now you can actually get up there pretty easily demonstrate it again you can get up go around there's a lot of maneuverability you can do now on this stage or like just right off the bat as it feels again this is only the turf war layout we're gonna go to all the other ones but so far i think this turf war layout is a w i think it feels a lot bigger. It feels like there's so much more space. Um, the the fact that you can actually get around now, you can actually, you don't, it does already like playing it and knowing your experiences with it and then realizing, holy crap, I can actually go around is pretty cool. And uh, so yeah, now they have this. I think this is new. Now you can jump off that way to become more of a defensive spot. This wall is inkable right here now, so if you need to get back in a hurry, you can actually go behind here and come up here. I don't know if this is... I know this this platform here is widened. This is a much wider platform. And now it even takes you over to this little side. So yeah. That's the Turf War layout. Let's go ahead and look at the Spot Zones layout. Okay. So on Spot Zones, it's about the same really. The, here's the layout again. There's the zone. I think the zone is either shrunk or the same size. But... You can see that the platform here is about the same. You can jump up on this. And now you can actually like kind of jump up on this little platform instead of having to jump down and uncomfortably go like that. You can actually uh, pretty comfortably jump up there now. They added this little Tetris piece right here. Alright, so as you can see, when the platforms come up, they actually cut off these little sides here. This platform still lowers, and you can still jump up from that cube. 
the and that's really about it i think that's pretty much the same all right so this one this layout i have not seen yet this is kind of first impressions you can see the spawn is in the corner now i don't think the tower control version actually spawned in the corner before i think that was rainmaker but look at this layout that looks this looks like a splatoon map layout so you can see it's about the same here over on this side i will see Okay, so this side just feels like it matters the most. So we'll just start with over here. Oh, there's... Oh my gosh, wow. They actually put a box jump up? Okay, wait, hold on. I gotta... Now I'm really curious. And then jump on... Oh my gosh, you can actually get into their base. They actually changed, wow, they actually changed this area a lot. Let's go ahead and take the tower path and see what happens when the, when the water ro uh, lowers. And you can go around this way, okay. So that's the path. It looks like that wall is still inkable right there. And there's the, uh, they got a little slanted thing right here. Oh, and there's a box set up right here that lets you get up. So I'm actually really glad that they made this accessible. Which is awesome. It looks like the two ramps are already there. Here's the layout. This looks to be about the same, I will say. The This platform is here is about the same. So we can go over here. I can't remember. Yeah, so that ramp was there before. Oh, but there's a little piece of terrain here now. That lets you jump across. Oh, wow. And they added like a whole... Oh, my goodness. They added like a whole wall right here. Looks like checkpoint. Looks like checkpoint might be better here. It looks like they moved it. Feels like. Hmm. Because I'm pretty sure checkpoint was like right here. Looks like they moved it forward. A little add, add a little wall here. You can get up. Oh, and you can even. Yeah, you can use it as a little defensive position. Okay. So. When the water is lowered. This ramp is accessible now, so this is about the same stuff. It looks like this is still here. Uh, and yeah, so is this inkable? This is not, but you can you can jump up it pretty easily. It doesn't seem like this part right here doesn't feel different at all. It's definitely mid. That feels the most different. Last but not least, we are on Clam Blitz, and I'm pretty sure it's the same exact way out. Yeah, it looks like the same exact layout as the Rainmaker map. Actually, yeah, one-to-one -one looks nearly exactly the same. So mid is different. They now have a jump-up box that lets you jump up this way. So now you technically have two ways. You can go this way, this way, and you can still go around here. I wonder what this box is going to do. Because it doesn't seem like... It might be more beneficial to when the water lowers. There we go. So the goal gets a little harder to score. This all lowers. Let's look at this box. Okay, so... Oh, never mind. I completely forgot this box is just made for this. this that's been there. That's been there. Yeah, this part remains... This is literally nearly exactly the same as the Rainmaker layout. You can still get up over here. See... It feels like there's, at least to get into their base, there's one, two, three, four options, technically. This layout didn't seem to change all that much, but now, since that is the last one, we will go ahead and go into the map comparison while we'll walk through. The original versions, I'm pretty sure, are all before the water was raised, so apologies for that, but it will be like a quick walkthrough of what's going on. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video, make sure to subscribe if you're brand new to the channel, and let me know down in the comment section below. How do you feel about the Mahi Mahi rework? 
work. I don't even know when it goes into rotation, but I, I think it should be in rotation soon. Again, I'm curious to know your opinion. I love you all. Have an absolutely fantastic day. Also, another thing. I think the next two maps that should be reworked is Brinewater Springs and Hammerhead Bridge. I think Hammerhead needs it first, but guys, look at the Brinewater Springs layout and look at S1 Mahi Mahi's layout. I'm just saying, Nintendo could. If they were to rework that map, they could do something very interesting with it and make it replicate Mahi Mahi's layout in a way. Like, reference my old Mahi Mahi. You know what I mean? Look at the pictures that I put up on screen. You'll see the difference. Thank <laughs> you. 